Is there a perfect morning routine when it comes to performance? Well, today we're gonna to dive into my morning routine when I'm at my absolute peak. Welcome to today's episode. And if you don't already know, my name is Connor Anderton. I'm an online coach of 10 years who specializes in helping regular guys get insane transformations and get incredibly strong in the process. Now, today's episode, start of the week, Monday, I wanted to talk about morning routines and I thought a Monday morning is the best time to talk about morning routines because it's when everybody has been overthinking on the weekend about the goals, what they've got coming up, what they want to achieve, what they want to improve on and how they're how they're going to do it okay so not just what they want to do but how are they going to do it that's the important thing you can have all these goals but if you don't have a plan of action to achieve them then you'll never achieve them right so morning routines <clears throat> i want to talk about my morning routine when i'm at my absolute peak so disclaimer i'm not going to claim that this is my morning routine every single day of the year because that would be wild I'm not some sort of superhuman who is on it 24-7 and never misses. It's not the case at all. So I wanted to put that out there before someone tries to call me out thinking, do you do this every day? Do you do this? Like, nah. But when I'm at my peak, I've got like some sort of prep, whether it's competition, whether it's just prepping for certain lifts, whether it's um, prepping for photo shoot. could be anything, right? Whether it's just me trying to feel and look my best. This is the morning routine I would go with, okay? So let's get started. Early alarm. You could be looking at 5 a.m., 6 a.m. Get up, glass of water, straight away. Get hydrated. Really obvious, really simple. Nobody wants to drink water. Nobody wants to told to be drink water. They kind of give me some more juicy stuff than that. That's just step one. I'm being honest with you, okay? Get hydrated. We get showered, get clean, fresh. Now, some people are like evening showerers. <laughs> some people are morning. When you get it done in the morning, you can start fresh, okay? Everybody knows after you have a shower, you feel better, okay? So get all that evening gunk off you. Start fresh, have a shower, brush your teeth, etc. Morning coffee, next step. Always get caffeinated. I will get some comments on this saying caffeine's bad for you, you shouldn't have this. It'll affect performance if you have it early in the morning. Right, shut up. Caffeine in the morning. That's what I'm doing on the next thing. After I've done my caffeine, I will get out my uh, notes app or journal or some form and write down what I want to achieve that day. Some people do this the, uh, the, the day before. I'm not a fan of that, okay? I don't like stressing myself with with the day ahead. I'd rather wake up in the morning and go. Okay, so we get the notes app out or we get the journal and we write down what we wanna achieve for the day. So this could be like business-wise, um, but also personally. So if it's, you know, a day to train, it's like train at this time. I'm gonna train this muscle group. I'm going to achieve this, okay? I'm gonna do my cardio. Yeah, I'm gonna do 30 minutes of cardio on the cross trainer, on the Stairmaster, any sort of, all these sorts of things. I'm going to walk the dog for 45 minutes. I'm going to hit 10,000 steps. Okay. Um, so that's when it comes to all your sort of like performance sided stuff. How am I going to eat? I'm going to eat four meals per day, blah, 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 blah. And you can sort of like plan out your day and then just stick to that. And you don't have to think then. Okay. Because nothing worse than when you're trying to achieve a goal and you're coming at it all willy nilly. Like, will I train today? I don't know. Maybe I will, but I don't know when. Will I go out for a walk? Yeah, I'm supposed to, but I don't know when. Weather's pretty bad now. Nah, I'm going to leave it. Do you know what I mean? So you don't want to come at your day with with um, uncertainty. You want to always have that plan in mind so you can just look at the app and let that do the thinking for you. One of the biggest killers of productivity is having too many things in your mind so that you get overwhelmed, you become anxious, and then you don't do anything because it just you hit a brick wall and you end up not moving forward. I've been there many times. Too many tasks at hand in my mind. 
not sure of where I need to begin, not sure when I'm gonna get the stuff done. So then you hit a brick wall and you freeze, okay? So if you get your thoughts out on paper or you know on the app or whatever, you can you can set all that uncertainty aside and all that stress aside and let the app do it for you, do you know what I mean? So this is how we do it. So we, we, we'll write everything down and then we, um, <clears throat> you know, we have breakfast. Anytime you have a morning routine, I hope to God you have a breakfast planned in it. Some people say, I don't have breakfast, I only eat till 12, I only eat at 1. That's fine, okay? I'm not telling you you have to absolutely do these things, but I would recommend fueling up at the start of the day and at least getting a hit of protein of some sort, okay? The more stimulus is, sorry, stimulus, the more like, sort of like bolus hits of protein you can get, the higher muscle protein synthesis is going to be throughout the day, and the more times you can spike that. You know, spike and it drops, spike and it drops. Um, the higher chance of muscle gain you're going to have. And of course, if you're watching this podcast, I guarantee you lift weights. I guarantee you want a good physique. I guarantee you want to be stronger. If you're listening to me and it's purely a motivational thing, then maybe that's different. But generally speaking, if you're watching this, you want a good physique and you're going to need hits of protein throughout the day. Okay, so a good, healthy, balanced sort of, I say balanced, high protein with balance in the morning is gonna be the way to go. So for me, it'll always be free eggs, guaranteed. It'll be salmon, okay? You don't have to buy crazy expensive salmon. You don't have to have a massive portion of salmon. You can make it work um, in terms of budget and stuff. So free eggs, salmon, two slices of toast, butter, salt, done. Sometimes sweet chili sauce, sometimes ketchup, sometimes nothing, right? So if you think about that, that morning so far, we've woken up, had a glass of water, we've showered, we've brushed the teeth, we've um, journaled, okay? I say journaled, we've prepped the day. So we get all the crazy stressful thoughts of the day out of your mind. That is honestly, in my opinion, the biggest one of the, the entire morning routine. The less stress you can carry throughout the day, the less uncertainty, the better your day is gonna go, okay? So we get all that insert uncertainty out, and then we move on into fueling ourselves, okay? And having breakfast. Once you've done that, you're ready to start upon that plan of action. Now, I was a bit concerned coming into today's episode, talking about the morning routine, because it isn't special. It isn't a 15-step list. It isn't, you know, 30-minute ice bath, 20-minute sauna, 15-minute ice bath, 15-minute sauna, 10K run into 12,000 push-ups. It's none of that shit, man, because it's unrealistic. And anybody who says they do that, they don't. <laughs> I guarantee they don't. And if they do, they're doing it for an episode of YouTube, episode of whatever, they're just trying to make the content look cool. Trust me on that one, it's a load of bullshit. So for me, it is all about simplicity. Anytime you watch my podcasts, if you watch my content on Instagram, everything is about simpl simplicity, simplifying everything. Because we live in a world where fitness in particular, I've been involved professionally in the fitness world for 10 years and you, the amount of stuff that has changed within that time especially coming from a time where social media wasn't big 10 years ago in terms of content creation it started moving to youtube and stuff like that but we're still on, on the forums at that point on like bodybuilding.com forums you know i just first jumped on them when i was 16 years ago so we've come from like a different time of it all and seen it evolve and what you what we found over time is that a lot of knowledge or I don't know information should I say is is getting twisted it's getting pulled in every direction and it, it seems to be pushed in a way that fits somebody's agenda rather than what works man what's simple you know so many people will will say okay do intermittent fasting if you don't you'll die <laughs> Um, so I, I saw one the other day where he's like, if you do more than eight reps, you won't build muscle. Like, people were agreeing in the comments and people were like, yeah, I, I'm glad you started pushing this content. Like, bro, look at the millions upon millions of people who do more than eight reps who are jacked. <laughs> it's like, how can you make that claim? But then people agree and then you'll get a newbie looking at, being like, oh, I should never do more than eight reps. And they couldn't train too heavy not growing enough or getting injured too soon because they're going too low rep without that framework. So you see what I mean? I'm not that person. I will always come at you from a, a simplicity point of view and that's what I want you to take away from 
today's today's episode okay it's not special it is my morning routine that i would deem to be something that works something that isn't overwhelming something that i don't stress about the day before because let's be honest if you've got work at 8 a.m or 9 a.m and before that you need to go on a 10k run you need to have done your thousand push-ups you need to have done your ice bath you need to have done your sauna you need to have showered and actually gotten ready you had have your breakfast have your coffee um done your journal you've done all this x y and z sitting your kids off to school whatever it might be like come on is that going to really happen <laughs> Like we don't all live in this crazy idealistic world. There's not absolutely no chance in hell. So my morning routine, when I'm on it, is simple. And it should be. Everything about your journey now should be simple. Your diet should be simple. You shouldn't have to eat in a certain way that causes stress on your life. It should be, what breakfast do you enjoy, man? Cool, eat that, but make sure it's high protein and don't overkill the calories, okay? What do you enjoy eating in the evening? Cool, eat that. Just don't overkill the fucking calories, man. Keep everything conservative control it track it that's all it's down to you know like you don't need to be doing fifteen thousand steps a day maybe you need to be doing seven you see what i mean so everything should come from this aspect of what works for you what do you need don't look at the crazy shit on the internet of morning routines of billionaires who you know spend eight hours before they've even started working <laughs> on the day got a seven hour morning routine that takes them into the afternoon um but yeah guys i'm rambling on now but i just kind of wanted to get across my morning routine hope you can take away something from it the main part i want people to take away from it is keep it low-key keep it simple write down and plan your day to get your thoughts out and get rid of that uncertainty that's what's going to help and get moving but realistically do what works for you plan your own if none of this works for you plan something different if you've got some more ideas of what would be really good in the morning routine that has helped you be productive, helps you feel good, help you feel mentally good, please help everybody out and put them in the comments below. That would be really good. Um, and yeah, guys, if you want more episodes like this, please like the video, maybe leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. And if not, subscribe to the channel. We're getting some really, really good growth at the moment. Um, we looked at, we've had 30,000 views in the last week or so. So it'd be great to keep that going hit that algorithm and help me out a little bit. So guys, hope you have a good day. Hope you're really productive. Hope tomorrow you have a good morning, a good morning routine. And I will see you tomorrow morning for the next episode.